Welcome back guys to another episode of Clash of Clans. This is your host, this is AJ Gaming, and today we are on my Town Hall 7 and I'm going to be discussing some different styles of attacks. Now for those who are competing in the Clash of Clans Town Hall 7 Cup in a couple hours time, I wish you guys all the best of luck and congrats to whoever does win, whichever team wins. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing some action and I'm guessing I'll probably be seeing a few attacks like this and at Town Hall 7 what I find to be one of the strongest attacks is an all dragon attack and as you can see from the replays I'm guessing this is how the attack styles will be done this is how I would do it if my Town Hall 7 was actually max unfortunately it's not and that is starting with two dragons on an outside to create a funnel for the rest of your dragons to go into the middle uh, I like to start with 10 dragons and I get a king just to try to clean around the outside if he can stay up as long as possible. I like to drop 7 dragons in the middle as you saw in that replay at the start just how they funnel in nicely. I like to have the extra one at the back and if you think this strategy may look familiar you might have recognized it on the practice mode. So again for anyone that is new to the game, Clash of Clans introduced practice mode and for Town Hall 7 they've shown how to do a dragon attack. Now that was a pretty standard base, that was a Town Hall 6 going to Town Hall 7. This one here, again it's not maxed but it is a Town Hall 7. And I like to use the lightning spells and I've got them maxed at level 4. I've got my dragons maxed to level 2. King is halfway there. So as you can see here, same thing, dropping the lightning spells to get rid of an air defense you have to drop two and then I just drop one on another one just to weaken it and again getting that funnel nice and right getting those two dragons on the outside and if possible like I did I did drop a third one just so I can keep those middle dragons to keep going in the core and getting the rest of the defenses as you see my king didn't start to stay up for too long but again it distracted some of those defenses which is perfect Again, it's only a level 3 king. is isn't going to do too much damage. And as you can see from this raid, a minute left in it. At Town Hall 7, you're generally not going to find many time fails. Just because the bases are a lot smaller compared to your Town Hall 11 or 12. Where literally, the, your base's max is crazy. You don't have much space left. That's why it takes a lot of time to get those 3 stars. But as you can see here, the dragons just power through Town Hall 7 bases even at level 2 and again with the lightning spell you don't see it in the later Town Halls so generally you find that lightning spells are used earlier on but again it's good practice to use those spells and if you think the lightning spell looks a little bit familiar for the guys that are higher up it's pretty much the same effect as what would happen when your Electro Dragon dies and as you can see in this base, 10 seconds ago, they're just going to take out the level 3 king. Seeking air mine, still doesn't take out those dragons, and look how many are left. That is crazy. So that's what I'll be expecting to see, quite a few attacks overnight in the Town Hall 7 Cup. I would um, probably see some, maybe some hog attacks, and maybe some loon attacks. Now, for anyone that is looking at farming at Town Hall 7, I find this random army to be pretty strong. So I have three wizards, I have six giants, I use them as a distraction, as a bit of a tank. A bit like how you might use a golem or something a little bit more tankier higher up, but at Town Hall 7, I use my dragons as you saw there, I took out the enemy king with my king as it was distracted, and again, this using loons at town or seven is a great way to learn how to get your spacing right when it comes to a loon attack especially if you're doing a lava loon at town or 12 you want to get the loons to start at the slightly different spots and how they meet up together and as you can see this base is already overpowered and i just use a lot of archers just to clean up because it's so cheap so it's a very cheap army and you get pretty much maximum value from using this army. Like I said, it's a bit of a mix. You don't probably need to use the wizards, but I like to use it. Completely different army, 
but I find it to be very OP at Town Hall 6 and even at Town Hall 7. And another way of attacking is this replay here. Again, I'm using the lightning spells to get rid of the air defenses, but mainly because I am using a lot of balloons, so you want to get them out of the way. And again, two lightning spells on one, one on the other, it's not going to completely destroy it, but it's going to weaken it. And with the giants, like I said, I like to use them as a distraction. And as you can see there, that little sneaky wizard is going to take out that second air defense. Now, some of these bases aren't maxed for Town Hall 7, but for anyone that is new to Town Hall 7, give this army composition a try and let me know how it goes. I find it to be pretty easy to learn at Town Hall 7. So have a go, have, a, have an attempt. Have some fun with it and again like I said with the spacing of the balloons you have them starting at all little different points but you know that they're going to meet together as you can see here the balloons pretty much met up towards the middle of where you want them to go use the rest of those giants to get rid of that last air defense and as you can see it's all gone base is done it's going to be another free star I'm having so much fun at Town Hall 7 I just wish that I farmed a little bit quicker and managed to max my base so I can compete in the cup tonight. But again, as I said, good luck to everyone. That'll do for today. I hope you guys all have fun, have a great weekend, and as always, happy clashing.